Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting integral using special U substitution, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to one, x minus one over x plus one, times square root of x plus x squared plus x cubed dx. We'll be making this integral in the form that we can use arc tangent at the end. So let me multiply x plus one to both the numerator and denominator, right? So now we have, let me call this integral as just the i. So the i has to be the same as integral from zero to one of x minus one times x plus one. That over x plus one square times square root of x plus x square plus x cubed dx. Then this integral has to be the same as integral from zero to one of x square minus one over x squared plus 2x plus 1 times square root of x plus x squared plus x cubed dx. Let me divide both numerator and denominator by x squared. So then integral has to be the same as integral from 0 to 1 of x squared minus 1 over x squared. That divided by let me divide each one of those two by the x because we're dividing your denominator by x squared. So x squared plus 2x plus 1 over just the x. And then that times square root of x plus x squared plus x cubed over also the x. Okay, then we have the x. Then this integral has to be the same as integral from 0 to 1. Of numerator is 1 minus 1 over x squared. That divided by, this part has to be just the same as x plus 1 over x and plus 2. That times this part has to be the same as square root of, okay, so 1 plus, and then we have x plus 1 over x, and then we have dx so that we can use u substitution. Let me call this u as this entire square root of one plus x plus one over x. So calling u as square root of one plus x plus one over x. And we can say u squared is just equal to one plus x plus one over x. Let's talk about du too. So du has to be the same as then uh, 1 over 2 times 1 plus x plus 1 over x to the power of negative 1 over 2. That times 1 minus 1 over x squared. And then we have dx. Then we can rewrite this as 1 minus 1 over x squared. That over 2 times square root of everything. 1 plus x plus 1 over x. And then we have dx. So that your dx has to be the reciprocal of it. 2 times square root of 1 plus x plus 1 over x over 1 minus 1 over x squared, du. And using all of this, we can rewrite this integral. Lower bound and the upper bound should be changing. The lower bound has to be um, infinity. And then the upper bound has to be square root of 3. Then at the same time, since u squared is 1 plus x plus 1 over x, that says u squared plus 1 is the same as x plus 1 over x plus 2. So we'll be using this to rewrite this integral. So integral from infinity to square root of 3. And then we have 1 minus 1 over x squared. That over this parenthesis has to be u squared plus 1. That times the square root part is just equal to u. And then dx was equal to this part. So dx was 2 times square root of 1 plus x plus 1 over x, which is equal to u. So we have now then 2 times u. That over 1 minus 1 over x squared. And we have du. So it looks like we can cancel these out. And we can also cancel u's out. And then we can switch the lower bound and the upper bound by pulling negative sign out. So this integral has to be just the same as negative integral from square root of 3 to infinity of only 2 over u squared plus 1. And then we have du. So that we can talk about arctangent. 
And if you're pulling this two out to rewrite this as negative two times integral from square root of three to infinity of one over u squared plus one du. This is just the same as negative two times arc tangent of u from square root of three to infinity. And then this is just the same as negative two times pi over two minus pi over three, which is just the same as negative two times pi over six. So that's why final answer for this question is negative pi over three. So negative pi over three is the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral involving arc tangent. How amazing.